Hello techies. In our previous tutorials, we have learned about input variables as well as output variables. And also, we have seen about the flow variables in all our previous tutorials. Now, in this session, we will learn about sensitive variables in Power Automate for desktop. All right. First, we will learn what are sensitive variables. In some automation scenarios, we need to handle confidential information and requires special handling of variables that store and use sensitive data during runtime, such as passwords, account numbers, organization email IDs, phone number, and many other personal information. In Power Automate for Desktop, to store sensitive data, we create a variable such as flow variables, input variables, and output variables, and we will mark them as sensitive variables. If you see on my screen, I'm having variables that is input variables or output variables, right? To mark these variables as sensitive information, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark them as sensitive. How can we go ahead and do that? There you can see I'm having name over here that is input variable. On the right hand side, you can see commands or more actions. Let me click on that. And there you can see over here, mark as sensitive. Whenever you will mark it as sensitive at the runtime, it hides the values at runtime. Okay, now I'm going to mark it as sensitive over here. There you can see the input variable that is name, it marked as sensitive. In the same way, if I'm having output variables to mark it as sensitive, I'm going to click on more commands. And there you can see I'm having mark as sensitive. In this way, we can hide the values at runtime. All right. Now we'll see the flow variables. I'm going to drag and drop set variable action onto the workspace. Now I'm going to give the variable name as bank account. In this value, I'm going to give some bank account details over here. Now let me click on save. There you can see I'm having bank account. Whenever I'm going to run this desktop flow, there you can see at the runtime, what happened over here, you can see account number at runtime. Correct? To hide these variable values at runtime, what we'll do, we'll mark these flow variables as runtime. How can we go ahead and do that? There you can see I'm having more actions and there I'm going to click on mark as sensitive. So what will happen at the runtime? These values will be hidden. With this feature, users can tag any variable as sensitive. Sensitive variables are not visible in the Power Automate for desktop designer during runtime and they're also not logged in the desktop flow logs also. Desktop flow supports the creation of sensitive variables whose values are marked during the debugging in the variable span of the flow designer. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a list. Let me drag and drop create new list action onto the workspace. And then you can see I have given the name as list and then I'm going to click on save. Now, if you see in my flow variables, I'm having list right i can go ahead and i can mark them as sensitive over here irrespective to any data type any variable can become sensitive sensitivity applies at the variable level so lists data rows data tables and custom objects get sensitive for the input and output variables there is another way that we can mark them as sensitive how can we go ahead and do that there you can see i'm having input and output variables now I'm going to remove this sensitivity over here by clicking on more commands and then I'm going to mark as not sensitive, right? Now, what is the another way that we can mark them as sensitive? Let me double click on the input or output variables. And there you can see over here, I'm having the variable name that is name over here. If you want to mark as sensitive, there is the option called mark as sensitive, which we can toggle it. I'm going to enable this and then I'm going to click on save. There you can see I'm having the name which marked as sensitive over here. In the same way, if I'm going for output variables, there you can see over here, I have already enabled this mark as sensitive. We can do in the both the ways such as opening the input or output variable or by directly going for the more commands and then we can go ahead and we can mark them as sensitive over here. I hope you understand how to work with sensitive variables as part of this tutorial.